Hey, stranger, I saw how you came out of the mountains. You can be glad you didn't come by here three weeks ago. We would have taken you for an escaped convict, and we made short work of those. You look completely done in. What do you want here? I was attacked by bandits in the mountains. Those filthy rabble. They were probably the same bastards who took one of our sheep last night. You had terrific luck. Most people don't get away alive. Those bandits won't trouble you anymore. Why? Are they dead? They picked a fight with the wrong guy. Thank Enos. Here, it isn't much, but I want you to have it. I'll tell the others about this. I'm on my way to town. The way you look, you'll have to bribe the guys to get in. And you have to know what they want to hear. And that would be? Well, for example, that you're from Lobart's farm and want to go to the smith in the city. But that won't do you any good. You don't look like a farmer. I see. I need better equipment. I can imagine. But I tell you right now, we don't have anything to give away. If you can pay for what you want, Lobart will sell you something. Otherwise, go to him and ask him if he has work for you. Where can I find Lobart? Well, on the farm, of course. The farm belongs to him. And don't try messing with him. He's thrashed a lot of tramps and thrown them off his farm. There's another of those scummy beasts. One less monster around. Why are you hanging around on my land? Whose side are you on? The rebelling farmers or the king? I'm for the peasants. Huh. That damned warmonger Onar will drag us all into the grave. What do you think? How long will the paladins just stand by? After what Onar has done, the whole city is in an uproar. What's going on here anyway? Don't you know what's going on? Boy, where are you from? We're on the edge of a civil war. Up till now, all the farmers looked at the tribute to the city as fair taxation. Since the Paladins have come to Corinnus, the city guards visit us more and more often. And little by little, they're taking everything. If it goes on like this, soon we won't have anything left for ourselves. Some farmers are starting to rebel. Onar was the first of them. Tell me more about this Onar. Onar is the biggest farmer here in the area. He is broken with the city. They say he's hired mercenaries to keep the city guard off his back. Can't blame him. In any case, no royal soldier dares to set foot on his farm anymore. Who are those mercenaries that Onar hired? I don't know much about the guys. Supposedly, a lot of them are former prisoners from the mining colony. Everybody knows what you can expect from them. What about you? Whose side are you on? Peasants or king? Now, I'm too close to the city to really have a choice. But I'm glad about that. I wouldn't know how to decide. The king is bleeding us dry, and Onar sets his mercenaries on anyone who won't join him. That's why most of the other farmers are still undecided, but sooner or later, they'll have to choose one side or the other. I'm looking for work. I can't use another farm hand, but I could offer some work to a day laborer. Well, what I mean is, you can lend a hand in the field, and there are certainly a few other things to do around here. I could pay you with gold or give you a few decent things to wear. The things are worth a fair bit. I can't give them to you for nothing, but I can sell them to you cheap if you work for me. By the looks of you, I should say, take the clothes. Anyway, the small turnip field next to the barn needs to be harvested. All right. Then hurry it up a bit before I change my mind.
Here are your turnips. Hey, you're not all that worthless after all. Take them to my wife in the house and tell her to cook them. What about my pay? Well, I can give you five gold pieces or sell you the clothes cheaper. Well, what's it to be? Give me five gold pieces. Here, don't drink it all at once. Hey, you. I've got a few turnips here for you. Great. That should be enough to fatten those guys up. Since you're here anyway, I saw a traveling trader pass by here a few minutes ago. I think he stopped on his way to town. Go to him and see whether he's got a decent frying pan for me. Can you give me something to eat? Here, take this. You're a good lad. Give me the gold, and I'll go see the merchant for you. Are you saying I can trust you? Just don't spend the money on booze, do you hear? Who do we have here? You're on your way to the city. Am I not right? Maybe. Hmm. <coughs> you look like a fugitive. All fugitives are headed for the city. You could even be a former convict for the mining colony. I don't care where you come from, but I believe I have an interesting offer for you. What do you have to offer? The way you look, the guards will never let you into the city. I can help you get into the city. I have here a small piece of paper with the royal seal and the governor's signature, a pass. With this scrap of paper in your pocket, you can run about as raggedly as you please, and the guards will leave you alone. Interested? How will you get into town? The guards know me. I will simply tell them that I have lost my pass. What do you want for your pass? I knew you were the right man. Listen, you will get the pass from me, now. Just like that? Just so. But if I meet you in the city, you owe me a favor. Do we have a deal? There must be a catch to this. No, no catch. You will merely owe me a favor. Sure, give me that paper. Here, be careful with that. It is very valuable. Uh, one more thing. Don't even think about breaking your word. As a merchant, I have a great deal of influence in the city. It wouldn't go well for you, believe me. Show me your wares. Take your pick. I've got to go. Suit yourself.
And how goes the work? Well, same as always. Lot to do, not enough money, and with a bit of bad luck, the orcs will come tomorrow and burn down our farm. The king's paladins have occupied the whole city, but I can hardly believe they'll move their butts out here when the orcs attack us. Can I help you? I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about working in the fields? What is there to know? Ah, in that case, I think we're fine here. Thank you. If you want to work for Lobart as a day laborer, I can only warn you, he pays people like you really miserable. He offered to sell me some clean clothes cheap if I helped out on the farm. Hmm, well, I don't have anything for you to do, but you can bring me and the boys something to drink. Fetch me a bottle of wine and I'll tell Lobart you were a real help to us. <laughs> Here's your wine. Uh, better not ask where you got it from, huh? Uh, <laughs> uh, who cares? Uh, thanks, anyway. Lobart will only hear the best about you. I'm headed for town. And? Is there anything interesting you can tell me about the city? Nope. But Maleth goes to the city from time to time. Maybe he knows something. I mean, something that would interest you. Is there any interesting news? I could have sworn I saw an orc over there on the edge of the woods two days ago. Since then, I've kept at least one eye open at night. Hey, you! Here's your frying pan. Fine. Let's see then whether it's any good. Can you give me something to eat? You've had your portion for today. Come back later. Hey, you! Have you got anything else for me to do? I don't, but you can ask my wife or the boys in the fields. Maybe they need some help. Wait a minute. Can you give me something to eat? Here, take this. You're a good lad. Nothing to be had there.
Hey, you, come here. What is it? On your way to the city, and really busy, too. Listen, you look like a smart guy to me. I bet you'll go far in life. You're certainly nobody's fool. I could see that right away. Say, you'd probably like to earn a few gold coins, wouldn't you? Why not? You'll have to forgive an ignorant old seaman. I'm a stranger in these parts, and I don't really know all the rules. So I had to find out the hard way that traveling strangers aren't welcome in the harbor city. Now I'm standing here with no idea how I'm supposed to get into the city. I have some extremely important business to conduct, and my client won't tolerate a delay, you see. You'll help me find a way to get past the city guard, won't you? About the city guards? Yes, got an idea. They should let you pass if you're wearing these farmer's clothes. That's just what I need. Man, I know I could count on you. Nobody will bother me disguised as a local yokel. <laughs> Excellent. You did really well. Here's your promised reward. What? 50 measly gold coins? You can't be serious. Gold isn't everything, my friend. Take them for now. I have the feeling that we'll be seeing one another soon. And who knows, maybe I'll return the favor. Look after yourself. What is it? You aren't getting in here, my boy. Why not? Looking the way you do, you're sure to cause nothing but trouble here, boy. And we got enough rabble in the city. We have no use for people without money. I'm bringing some herbs for Constantino, the alchemist. Really? Then you won't mind showing me what you brought. Mmm, looks good. All right, in you go. But don't cause any trouble. Understood? Halt, stranger. I am Lothar, paladin of the king and humble servant of Innos, your lord. Our commander, Lord Hagen, has entrusted me with the task of explaining to all newcomers the new laws which apply to all inhabitants of the city. Since people have started simply vanishing all over this town, everyone needs to watch out that they don't suffer the same fate. I have an important message for the leader of the paladins. The Honorable Lord Hagen is not receiving anyone. Lord Andre, the commander of the city guard, is responsible for all issues pertaining to the common folk. They can't go on like this forever. I have come to get the Eye of Innos. The Sacred Eye of Innos? How do you know about that? You're not a member of the Order. A magician told me about it. I don't know what his motives were when he entrusted one of the secrets of our order to you, but he certainly didn't mean for you to get your fingers on it. But I don't want to hear any more about it. Listen, the city is threatened by dragons. That can't be true. Another lunatic. We have enough unrest in the city as it is. And without some dimwit scaring people with fairy tales about dragons, I immediately locked up the last person who was here telling dragon tales and sent him to the Valley of Mines with the prison transport. So mind your tongue. We can't use anyone here who spreads panic among the people. But no, he insisted he knew better. Somebody already reported the dragons here? Yes. 
The fellow's name was Diego. I think so, in any case. I warned him just like you. But the lunatic just wouldn't stop getting on my nerves. The townspeople are simply disappearing? Yes, it seems to be more every day. It's most annoying that the militia have still not been able to discover what's behind these strange occurrences. Small wonder that the town's inhabitants are very wary of strangers right now. So don't provoke them when you're in town, understood? You mustn't believe everything you hear. Where can I find the commander of the city guard? Lord Andre can be found in the barracks at the other end of the city. Where can I spend the night here? If you're looking for a place to sleep, go to the hotel directly across from the barracks. The paladins pay for the lodging of all travelers who come to the city. The traveling traders from the marketplace are also lodged there. All right. Explain the rules of the city to me. First, the Honorable Paladin Lord Hagen resides in the Upper Quarter, along with his troops. That is why access to the Upper Quarter is allowed only to honorable citizens. Second, the Town Hall in the Upper Quarter is now the command post of the Paladins. Only the Paladins themselves and members of the militia have access to it. And third, Whoever is accused of a crime must exonerate himself with the commander of the militia. Any questions? How do I become a citizen of the town? Only those with regular jobs will be considered citizens of the town. But don't think that you'll be admitted to Lord Hagen just because you're a citizen of the town. As a citizen, you have access to the upper quarter, nothing more. Only as a member of the militia will you have access to the town hall. Where can I find work? You'll have to apply as an apprentice to one of the masters here in the lower part of the city. As soon as a master accepts you, you are a citizen of the town. However, the other masters must agree to it. That's the custom here in Corinus. If you were thinking about looking for work in the Harvard District, forget it. The scum of the city live there. Don't even go there. You would regret it. How do I get to the upper quarter? Say, are you listening to me at all? You're not a citizen of this town. You can save yourself the trip. The guards won't let you in. The entire area behind the inner gate is off limits to you. How do I get accepted into the militia? By express command of Lord Hagen, only citizens of the town will be admitted into the militia. I see. If you want to know more, speak to Lord Andre in the barracks get that from me. What do I have to do to get armor like yours? What? You aren't even a member of the militia. You're not even a citizen. How can you even think of being allowed to wear the armor of a paladin? Only a few militia soldiers, those who have performed extraordinary deeds, have been granted that honor so far. If you want to be a paladin, you have a long road ahead of you, my boy. I've got to go. If I hear one more time that you are telling people here about dragons, you will be in big trouble. Do I make myself clear? <laughs>